Okay, so for this particular test, um, I turned the fans all the way up uh, to maximum uh, just so that I can get a better idea of what the fans would sound like maxed out. And I'm going to go ahead and run a couple more benchmarks. Um, we'll probably run uh, Port Royal and uh, Time Spy, I suppose and uh, see how the Alienware X16R1 performs with the Intel i9-13900HK and the NVIDIA uh, 4080. This is a 175-watt uh, system. Let's see here. I haven't ran any of these yet, so bear with me real quick here. We'll go with uh, Time Spy first. And we don't want to include the demo. And here we go. So, first run. Let's see if I can hold this phone steady for y'all. Kind of cool the, uh, the keyboard. Um, lighting it's pretty good and also the trackpad lights up as well which i mean kind of gimmicky but it's also cool at the same time if you like that kind of stuff forgot how long some of these things take to load for the first time i hope y'all are able to see this um let me see if it can... Oh, it's always kind of interesting trying to film a computer screen with a phone. But, doing the best I can. Anyway, while this is working, um, I decided to do these um, benchmarks on the Alienware X16R1 because I haven't seen any other reviews or benchmarks or anything like that on YouTube as of yet. The system was just released. I just got it today myself. And, um, you know, I don't really do much YouTube uh, content creation, but I figured if I was interested in it and I wanted to find out, you know, kind of find out a little bit more um, about the system and how it performs, then other people might be interested as well. So that's why I'm doing it. So here we go. We're finally getting into the loading portion and we'll see see what we get I do have a desktop that I built um, it's got a Intel uh, i7 12700K um, and an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti um, I just built that not too long ago actually and uh, I'm interested to see how this performs compared to the desktop I'm trying to focus on these numbers here, but it seems so bright in the screen of the phone. Let's see if I can get it here. There we go. I mean, you'll be able to see the end results too, but I just wanted to kind of see if I can get those numbers going. Um, so far, so good. I can say the screen actually looks really crisp. Um, the colors are vibrant. Um, this particular benchmark you don't see it quite so much in terms of the vibrant uh, colors, um, but you can certainly tell how crisp the screen is, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I do wish that it came with a mini LED. Um, you know, I think for for the money, you know, you probably should be able to have that technology built in. Um, but the overall build quality, um, super happy with. Um, let me take a look here. You can see some of the, the fans right through the the vents here. Um, it does also have uh, six uh, speakers. Um, comes equipped with uh, the Dolby Atmos uh, software suite, uh, which is nice. Um, I did try it out, uh, just the you know, initial Dolby Atmos test that they have, um, and it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know a whole lot of people who you know will listen to the speakers coming out of their laptop. Most people are just going to wear headphones. And you'll have a superior experience, particularly with how much people spend on headphones these days. But, you know, it's still pretty cool. So in a pinch, I mean, 
I guess you can sit down and watch with someone else and kind of have, you know, a superior sound quality experience. But um, overall, this is uh, this is doing pretty well on this benchmark. Um, I'm probably going to compare it directly to the 3080 Ti that I have on my desktop, which is right there. Um, I actually compared it earlier to uh, in uh, Cinebench uh, R23, and uh, I have my score here for my desktop, 20,384. I did a YouTube video on the... Uh, the Cinebench R23 already with this laptop and it got 19,000 I think 800 something points. I did it again and got just over 20,000 um, with the fans ramped up. I'm curious to see if I do some undervolting and that sort of thing what I can actually get out of this thing um, but I wanted to get it you know kind of right out of the box just to get an idea of, of what to expect. So here we are uh, score 17,612 GPU score is 18,783, CPU score 13,016. So, pretty good. Um, let's see if we can get, and I'm gonna try and hold this and control this uh, at the same time. So let me see what some of these, these max clock speeds were. So it looks like I got just under five uh, megahertz there, or um, I'm sorry, uh, five uh, gigs here. And then, let's see, about 4.7 there. Let's see if we can go down to temperatures. Um, here we go. So temps, looks like max CPU temperature got right up to the limit at 99.96. Right towards the end there. Um, GPU stayed pretty cool, uh, pretty much the whole time. I think the max GPU temp is somewhere around here, maybe, maybe over here. So 73.76. Um, CPU temperatures in the 70s pretty much the whole time, uh, except for at the end there. And, let's see, that's pretty much the only real interesting things here. Uh, to kind of share, but uh, yeah, the the, um, the CPU can get as high as 5.4 gigs, so I'll probably have to do a little bit of tweaking to to you know eke out a little bit more of that performance. But you know, this is just kind of fiddling around with it for the first few minutes. Uh, but this is what we got, so hope you enjoyed.